to start with understanding backgrounds today like background consistencies now this is again background is again a very big topic so we'll go slowly now first thing that we have to understand in background is how to write stuff when we when we want a particular background because the moment you understand that prompts affect your background how you know you'll you'll have a good background people don't understand the point that um you know writing something in your prompt will affect your background as well so first of all whenever you write a background this is also for people who are planning shows for the ai artist now for you guys whenever you guys are giving someone a particular background to use okay this is how the background should be make sure you are understanding that you know this background will come with the characters or not because your backgrounds should never look something like this like let's say if you want a office background if there is a scene of office in your episode and you just went ahead and checked the background like this like you know you just wrote office background in the prompt and generated a image and you finalized this image you never checked if this office background is going to come with the characters or not because see when you wrote office background here you you are getting something like this as office right now here you might just assume that okay now i'm going to keep this as my office background i'm going to keep a green walled office background here with wooden furniture maybe this is how my office will look but do you feel like the same office will come if you just write this word office background with the entire prompt that you write to generate a image if you feel so then it's fine but if you feel that after writing that five or six lines of prompt if i just mention these two words office background this office might not come then how are you giving this image as a background for the other artist to you know make or, or keep this background as consistent so always go ahead understand that your backgrounds are something that will you know differ with different prompts also go ahead and be specific about what you want in your background like instead of writing a office background go ahead and write a office background with green walls and wooden furniture so that at least the ai knows that i have to give green walls and wooden furniture here because when you write the word office background you're not specifying that what like or how should the office look like because here maybe you are getting a green walled and wooden furniture office background but it's not sure that you are going to get the same office background when you write the same word with a different prompt like imagine this as a prompt a five line prompt where there are three characters in the image and you are just writing this word as office background now this office might look very different from what you got there here because here office background was giving you a random office background but here the office background is not giving you the exact office background you wanted there it will give you some random background as office but the color or the style might not match from the one that you picked there so if you are giving something like this make sure that you are giving a specific prompt and not office background or let's say hospital background or a bedroom background be specific about what is there in the background let it be a blue walled you know a uh, room so now just just think about it this is your office background right if this is the office background you need be specific about what you want in the office background because see here if i just assume that the office writing this two words office background will give me something like this i just now checked that if i write a character and the dress it's not giving me the same office background so if i need that office background instead of just writing the word office background 
can i go ahead and write like office background with green walls and wooden furniture so that at least i'll get a wooden uh, furniture room with a green walled background now this green might not be the exact green as that now this green will again change if i change the dress maybe if i change this dress from blue t-shirt to red maybe this green will start looking different maybe if i change this a uh, blue t-shirt to a gray t-shirt or a white t-shirt black t-shirt it the green might start looking different so we have to again think about all those scenarios now we will we'll come to the point that what or how should we you know get that exact color or what. again this is a you know wide perspective of how to keep things consistent but for now let's try to get uh you know simple backgrounds let's try to keep simple colors as the background that will be easier for me to keep, you know keep it consistent because think about it if i keep my uh you know background as a white room let's say instead of keep, keeping the room as green room now now just think about it if if i have a green room here this is how i'm getting the green shade when i am giving you know the t-shirt color as blue now if i change this t-shirt color to white the shade of green might change if i again change the color of the t-shirt to red this green shade again might change so think about it if i have three individual characters in you know this panel and i have all the three characters in the view right now now the green color will look different and if i have individual characters in the image like let's say one image where all the three characters are standing they all are wearing different clothes the green will look different and now if i have to just give a close up shot of characters where i'm just making single individual characters in the background they're just standing like this this image on my screen now the green might look different so instead of keeping like you know colors as green or blue or something where the shades look different or the shades might change because of the colors in your dress can we keep backgrounds with like let's say simpler tones or simple color backgrounds where it's easier for us to you know uh, manipulate or get that background now think about white think about keeping gray backgrounds which is easier because you know it's not about different shades you can easily manipulate a white or a gray background or a brown background or something like that so first of all don't go for complicated background colors don't go for a color like purple background because it, there can be lot of different shades there and sometimes even the color like let's say you might have noticed that the color of dresses affect the color of the background no same thing happens sometimes the color of the background affects the color of the dress as well maybe this color green will affect the color of the blue as well and it does is like like if i if i just show you here now the blue color here is changing in all the images the blue will not change if i don't mention anything about the background if i like just imagine if i generate one image here where i just you know select the character and write he is wearing a blue t-shirt and black pant and i don't mention anything about the background i'll get a consistent blue there but as soon as i start mentioning things about background that blue shade is also changed because maybe because of that green color right so think about it think about um you know all the scenarios that you that you know is there in your show before finalizing a background so that it's not a very big task for you to keep the background consistent right second thing like let's say now if you want you know a background scene be specific about what you want in the background so that you have a clear idea of how backgrounds will look if i have to just generate a background or even if i have to generate it with characters this is how i want my background to look 
So now if I want a bedroom with a white for like with the bedroom should be with white furniture, this is how I want my bedroom to look. And now no matter what or who the character is in the view or what they are wearing, I want this exact uh, you know background in my view. And keeping this is again simple. Because there are no extra colors here. I just need a bedroom with white uh you know walls and white furnitures in it and i'll be a little bit specific about how i want my room to be now again like i said this is again a very big topic understanding backgrounds because see, i cannot just assume that i'll keep this as my background because here in the background if i show you the bed here is the bed and here there are two windows here but in the next image, there, there are no windows here. The windows are here. In the next image, again, there are no windows. There are windows here. But again, we have a table here, a dressing table mirror here. In this, there is nothing. The table went here with a circle on the mirror with nothing on this wall, no painting, nothing, and a different kind of window here. So again, we have to understand how exactly we are keeping the background and then we'll have to maintain it sometimes it will come sometimes you'll have to think about it because because if you showed one image here like let's say if you make an image with the background looking something like this let's just say when you showed one man standing here and you showed that there is a, a you know like let's say chair placed on the right side of the bed and there are two side tables placed on both the sides of the bed and there is one photo frame just ahead of the bed or there's windows here now imagine that this is a view of one of your image where you know a character is standing here let's just assume and you're given a wide angle shot of the room and the viewer the user who's looking at the image now understands this background as something like this the background looks something like this now think about it the other image that you made you start you create it like this now the user will get disturbed because he or she has an understanding of the room like this the re reader who's reading it might understand this room background as something like this they are assuming to get this background every time so if we start changing the background from this to this to this again it will be difficult for them to you know think of this room same as this room because it will then feel to them that is this the same room or is it a different room are they standing in the same room because how do i explain this now you might have showed you know two images or five images of the room in the starting of the episode then you went to show a flashback scene or you know the scene went to somewhere else and then you again came at the end of the episode again we went to show the bedroom scene and now the bedroom starts looking different so the user might not understand the you know point there but is it the same room or is it a different room so we have to think about you know all these things but okay as of now we are not worrying about those things for today's session we are only worrying about colors right now so yeah this is what we do whenever you want a specific color first thing very first thing go with simpler tones simpler colors that is easier for anyone to you know make understand or to keep it consistent second thing be specific about the colors or the other details in the room that you want so that you know that this is how things are gonna come because if you don't write like let's say i want a white bedroom or i want a white furniture the furniture might become different it might give you a different shade of furniture maybe a brown furniture or something right so think about it then uh so that at least while you are making images you understand that is the white room coming or not am i getting the white room with you know the white furnitures or not when i'm mentioning this character now maybe because of this blue again the white room is not coming as white 
तो कैन आई गेट अ व्हाइट रूम विथ व्हाइट फर्नीचर्स इफ येस देन फाइन इफ नो देन अगेन आई लेव टू थिंक अबाउट सकथिंग इफ आई एम ऑलवेज गेटिंग ब्राउन फर्नीचर्स हियर even if i mention that i need a white furniture in the room but i'm still getting brown furnitures here in the room every time i'm mentioning that can i just change this to brown and can i see if i'm getting brown furnitures consistent when i'm not mentioning anything here so instead of making this white room and white furniture can i go and make a background reference as white bedroom and brown furniture room because i know that with character brown furniture is coming consistent so this can be my reference better reference right same thing again like imagine that i need a you know wooden background room so then if this is how i want my room to look am i getting a similar tone am i getting similar you know background am i getting similar things in the background when i'm mentioning it with the character if yes then fine if no then again also sometimes things here and things here will look different but if this is something you're getting consistent still fine like let's say here maybe we are getting similar things maybe here we had like wooden walled room here again we are getting wooden walled room but the shade of that or like it's more shinier kind of thing so this look dull so if you are getting something like this but this dull room is coming consistent throughout your episode still fine but why we don't want or why we want to avoid things like this is because if i am the only one making a show or doing a show and if i understand that okay maybe my reference was this but i am getting this so i'll keep this consistent throughout my episode still fine because only i am the artist there if i changed a background i can change it to this for every episode but when you are working with someone else when there are multiple artists on one show then we have to think about it maybe this scene is in two episodes now maybe i am getting something like this i can maintain this background i can keep this background consistent but can the other person do this or not or at least let me you know at least communicate between yourself that okay i am changing this background to look something like this my backgrounds are coming something like this can you also check in your episode if you are getting something like this or let's try to keep this as consistent so that both of you who are working on you know similar episodes with similar backgrounds you have a communication between yourself you have an understanding of how and what the background should look and then you're getting similar backgrounds it same thing goes with any other background or anything that you want to keep so first of all have an understanding of what kind maybe like let's say if i write this as a background i'm getting something like this i'm getting a brown um, you know hotel restaurant scene and we have like square uh, tables in the view and this is what is coming and i'm mentioning this now maybe this was not my you know a uh, point of view when i wrote this i was not assuming that the background will look like this i might have a different view in my mind that this is how i want the background to look but i have to then understand that with this prompt this is how i'm getting the background this is the tone of the background i'm getting a view like this the walls are looking like this the tables are looking like this the chairs are looking like this if i am okay with this i'll keep it consistent but then again smaller things matter here like let's say here we have square tables so in one image the table cannot be square and the other image the table cannot go for go from it being square to a circular table you have to think about it if i am keeping the square table it should be square in all the images or if the table has a white cloth on top of it the table should have white cloth in all the images it cannot go from a table with white cloth on top of it 
to nothing on top of it to the colors of the cloth changing or something like that it, if this is how i want the background to look of a restaurant i'll try to keep it consistent like that i'll try to make it look like a brown walled restaurant with a white cloth on top of it if that is coming if that similar kind of background is coming by just writing that perfect if it's not coming i'll change something in the prompt i'll try to be more specific because here it was not mentioned that there are square tables and white cloth on top of it so if i have dif difficulties in getting you know few props in the backgrounds here and there then i'll be specific about it instead of just mentioning this can i go ahead and be more specific about i need square tables in the view or uh, you know white tables or something like that so that i get something like this image in my other images as well okay so nothing special today like this is just an understanding of two things here be specific about the colors that you want be specific about the colors that you want to keep consistent or uh, write those colors in your prompts and then even the furnitures or the other things in your image if you need something specific in your image first check if you are getting those things consistent by writing a prompt if yes then use the same prompt in your images so that you'll get it consistent every time but even smaller things about backgrounds do matter and we'll we'll talk about it later how to get those consistent other stuff but yeah i think this is it for today